Hi everybody, Elisa here with another Beer Bradley bag of the day coming to you from my car where I'm waiting out the New York City alternate side of the street parking uh, block of time. <laughs> the traffic cop just went by and the street sweeper just blew on by and so I'm good to go. Got another like hour to sit here but at least I don't have to worry about anyone trying to make me move. Um, as I've said before, when I'm in my car, I think the street sweeper's just given up on this block. <laughs> this is the best parking spot ever, and especially because there's a guy parked behind me in a Wrangler. He works in the building across the street. And the Wrangler's so nice and wide that I can pop my mirror, my side view mirror out to see what's coming. And his Wrangler is still wider than my car. His fenders are still wider than my car, so I don't have to worry about some truck coming by and ripping my side view mirror off, <laughs> trying to squeeze by the double parked cars. Um, so that's good. So all is right with the world for the moment. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests recently to make videos for because um, I bought some things. Well, I didn't buy them. I used a gift card, so they're like free. Um, in my mind, they're free, <laughs> but I got some of the new, um, some things in the, a few of the new patterns, just, um, the Magnifique floral and, well, it's not a pattern, but the performance tool color, hydrangea pink. Um, and I, I will try to do a, a more comprehensive video on all that. Uh, I don't have, I didn't get all that much stuff but um, I don't have it all with me here in my car. I just have one thing with me. So I thought uh, while I have time to kill, I would just make what might be a quick video. I don't know, or it might be long if I ramble, <laughs> as I am wont to do. Um, but I thought I would just show that while I'm sitting here killing time. Um, there's some other stuff I would do. I still have money on my gift card, still have money to burn. <laughs> So I am thinking about, I know there's a sale right now. I'm thinking maybe about got, getting something in, what is it? Parisian bouquet or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have mixed feelings about that um, pattern, but I do like the throw. I think the throw is gorgeous. So maybe I'll, not like I need another throw, <laughs> but what the hell. Um, I'm sitting here with Pixie. She's finally, she's on the pa passenger seat though so I don't have to worry about her as much um, okay so oh and just wanted to explain that I've been since I've been getting a lot of these video requests I, I, I hear you I hear you people viewers and I appreciate the requests I have been sick uh, <laughs> been a challenging couple of weeks for me health wise my dad and I well, I take him to a lot of doctor's appointments and we sit in a lot of crowded waiting rooms and we haven't been wearing masks anymore. And uh, we both got sick at the exact same time in the exact same way. And so we were both, not, not COVID or anything, but just a regular kind of cold. For at least a week, we were both sick at the same time. And there's nothing like being sick and not having anyone to care for you because you're the caretaker. So <laughs> that was fun. And then, um, you know, I'm still still going through some stuff that's like emotionally challenging and so it's hard sometimes hard to get motivated and kind of have this stress low level stress in my life all the time. But then related to my parking and trying to because the guys in my the door the guys not just the doormen, also the, the building, the maintenance guys are really great helping me get spots. I mean uh, the, the night doorman Lorenzo last night helped me get this spot. I was parked somewhere else on the block and it wasn't a bad spot, but he was like, your spot's going to be, someone's pulling out of your spot soon. You want me to hold it for you? So, you know, I came down at like midnight moving my car, which I, I wouldn't have been able to do. You know, I didn't ask him. He just volunteered to help me. So the men in this building are just really lovely and they look out for me. Um, so that's one stress I don't have, although I did have to um, go get my car inspected recently and that was sort of a little challenging. But so because the doormen are so nice to me about helping me with my car, I try to, and I'm parked in a real good spot right in front of the building. 
I want to park it carefully so that I leave space for them to help people getting in and out of taxis and getting in and out of their cars and things like that. And so I was parked in a way where I knew I wasn't going to be able to open my driver's side door to get out because um, there was a tree bed with a little railing around it. So I said, okay, well, I'll just climb over my console and get out the passenger side. And, you know, getting old's not fun. <laughs> and I was carrying Pixie one day and I'm climbing over the console in my car and I had to move in such a way that um, I, I pulled the intercostal muscles on my upper like left ribs and it's really painful and so it's been challenging sleeping and moving around and yesterday I was feeling better and I got kind of cocky and I um, moved around a lot more and did laundry and lifted a big tub of um, photographs that I have for storage and that that was really heavy and that was probably a mistake because I'm, I'm feeling it today I sort of a I, I sort of backslid a little bit my progress so um, I don't recommend pulling your rib muscles <laughs> um, but anyway at least they are getting better it doesn't hurt to breathe deeply anymore so all of that has sort of made me a lot like made me put things on hold, which reminds me, Victoria, if you're watching, and also Carol, if you're watching, hi, hi guys. Um, I have, I'm, I've packed up some of your stuff and I'm gonna send it out. I just haven't gotten a chance to get to the post office and Victoria, especially, I was looking for, um, just found last night, a box that's gonna accommodate some more stuff because that yours, yours is gonna come in more than one package. Um, so I, I should be good to go, hopefully sometime this week. Uh, I'll get to the post office for, with some of it at least. I have to walk to the post office so I might not be able to carry it all at once. Excuse me. Okay, so uh, with that pre-ramble, <laughs> um, the, the, the start of it, the opening ramble is finished. <laughs> there might be other rambles later. Okay, so the first thing is I'm carrying my tote bag in Performance Twill. Uh, this is the new color, Hydrangea Pink. I, uh, someone did ask me, do I have, uh, on Facebook, do I have Lavender Bouquet? Is it Lavender Bouquet? Not Lavender Bouquet. Lavender Sky. And could I take a picture of them together? And I do have Lavender Sky, and I'm sorry I forgot. Um, I forgot to do that because I just haven't been feeling my, my best, um, but I'll try to do that. They are very different. Lavender Sky is a real, it's very saturated, um, even though it's a light pastel color. This really is not as, as saturated um, a hue. It's very pretty. It's very subtle. It's a little bit, it's coming out a little bit more neutral looking on right now in the light here. I wonder if I open my balloon roof if that will change the way it looks. No, that doesn't really change the way it looks. Um, it, it is pink, but not a strong pink. It's a very delicate pink, like in the vein of a ballet slipper pink, but it's a slightly different um, hue. It, it has more blue in it than a ballet slipper pink would have. Um, so it's a little bit cooler than that, but it is a beautiful color. I'm tempted to get more in it because it's just such a yummy color. Um, people have asked about this color compared to Dover Mauve, and I never bought Dover Mauve because to me it didn't read as mauve at all. It read more as a beigey kind of neutral with a warm undertone to it. So for me, it kind of felt like a waste. I, I didn't. I think it was misnamed, let's just say that. Um, and so when people were asking me, how does it compare? I said, gee, I don't have any of that, but my, if I had to guess like my memory of Dover Mauve, I think this is pinker. And then Emma, hi Emma, 
she actually reached out to Avira Bradley and asked them and they confirmed that. So I said, oh, that's good to be right. <laughs> right, still. Um, so yeah, this is a very pretty color and the lining is pretty too. I don't know if I'll be able to, yeah, you can sort of see the lining there. Look pretty with a gray, no, I like, like a pale lavender background, which looks a little bit grayer. It's coming out looking a little bit grayer. And the light here is very bright because there's a sunlight bouncing off of um, cars around here. So there's a lot of sort of strong light being reflected around, bounced around. So, okay, so a lot of my stuff in here is the same as the last time I was sitting in my car, actually. Um, I don't think anything is different except the one thing that I wanted to talk about, which is the new pattern. Um, what's, what's nice, before I forget, what's nice about this lining is the colors, which are all kind of in the same family, except punctuated with a little bit of mint green. They're a little mint green. Um, details in there. I don't know if I can get that where you can see that. Yeah, you can sort of see it in there. The mint green in some of the flowers. Uh, very subtle, very small details. Um, so I thought that was nice. Um, and I do like this. Some, I feel like sometimes it's a crapshoot with the linings on the performance tool because sometimes um, they'll give you a new pattern without lining and other times they'll reuse they'll bring back an older pattern like they're recycling a pattern oh, somebody's dinging me <laughs> um and that's always kind of disappointing when you when you see a um a pattern that a, a lining pattern that's kind of like old hat it's kind of a let down It'll kind of you deflate a little bit like oh yeah that oh bummer um so this is nice that is, that's a nice um new to me anyway dealership wanted to check check up on my service yesterday oh that's something I can ramble about for, um, before I get to showing this magnique magnifique floral oh that reminds me <laughs> um, so yeah I, I had to take my car to be inspected and which I, I have it inspected in um, Pennsylvania it's, it's still registered and everything in Pennsylvania and uh, so it's a drive so I drive out there and uh, my car, cause I was parked, there's scaffolding in my building, guys are doing pointing work. And so there's a lot of dust everywhere. There's dust all over my car. I'm sorry if my, my uh, iPad is swinging around. Um, and on top of that, I'm under a tree. There's all this bird shit all over my car. And um, you know, normally I don't care. I'll just wait for it to rain. I'm one of those people. <laughs> um, but I was going to the dealership and it was kind of, I was feeling a little like self-conscious about it. I'm like embarrassed. I can't bring my car in with all this bird shit all over the hood. So I ran it through the car wash and uh, this is like, you know, five minutes away from the dealership. And uh, I come out of the car wash and I pull into a CVS parking lot to run to CVS and I'm coming back to my car I head over to the dealership and I notice that the front uh, right uh, lens on my turn signal is gone and that was a, a lens that was not on properly and it was always taking on water whenever it would rain the light would fill up with water never affected the wiring and my turn signal always worked but I'm wondering if that buildup of water over time you know periodically was loosening the glue that was holding the lens in place and so the lens I think the car wash just kind of ripped the lens right right off of my car so I get you know it's not gonna pass inspection with that so I get to the dealership and the they had to order it. They can't just pop a lens back on there. They have to replace the whole element. So they had to order that. So I had to leave my car there. Plus I had to do something with my brake pads in the front. So um, I had to rent a car and drive myself home and then drive myself back in the rental. The rental they gave me was um, a Jeep Cherokee, a new one. It's nice, that, that shit's nice, man. 
it's like getting back into my car it's like I almost felt like I didn't have power steering anymore I mean that Cherokee is so powerful and more fuel efficient it's a bigger car than mine um, but it is more fuel efficient than mine and you really you don't feel the road as much as you do in mine I mean Jeeps you have a tendency certain model Jeeps Wrangler and, and my Jeep they have a tendency to feel the road more um, but this is, this is a bigger one, and it was nice. Everything was electronic, the steering wheel heated up. I mean, I have heated seats in mine, so the heated seat thing wasn't new to me, but the heated steering wheel, that was nice. <laughs> that's like the equivalent of having, that's the car equivalent of having a heated toilet bowl seat. <laughs> um, uh, dog, dog activity. Um, so um, I had to, you know, drive home, drive myself back in the rain. It was like during a rainstorm, flood watches, everything. So that was fun. So um, then I was leaving the dealership with my car the next day. I went to use the turn signal that they had just replaced and it wasn't working. I was just like, oh man, it's a good thing I didn't get like halfway home before I realized that. So I had to turn back around, rush to the dealership. They were like half an hour from closing, but the guys who were working with me saw me right away. I had to get like back in the queue to pull into the garage bay. And they came and they like took me, you know, out of order. They just pulled me out and, and got to me right away um, to fix it. I just, just the bulb wasn't seated right or something. So it was fine now, but it was like a, challenging couple of days just a, a lot and I you know I have to leave my dad all day long and um, Pixie left Pixie all day long and so um, he can't walk her you know so I have to get back to walk her and stuff so it was just like a lot a, a lot of uh, car stuff and just a lot of activity for, for my dad for me <laughs> so anyway um, I'll show this one thing that I got in Magnifique Floral, which is new on the website, and I think there's a sale right now. When I ordered this, it was, I don't know if this was on sale. It's on sale now, because I think the website right now is like 25% off of stuff, with maybe maybe with free shipping, which is always a good, that's a good time to take advantage of just if you just want to order one small thing, and you don't have, if you, and you want to get free shipping. Um, I don't think this was on sale when I ordered it. Some of the other things that I ordered were like on a, a special price, but I don't think this one was. But this is not an expensive item. I think this might be like $30 or something in that range. Excuse me. And this is the um, tech uh, envelope tech sleeve or something. And I, um, I took the tag off of it, but I just, <laughs> for some reason, the French translation on this item name really just made me chuckle so I wanted to bring it so it's the envelope tech sleeve or pochette envelope pour apparel yeah uh, apparel maybe apparel techno I don't know for some reason the techno part of it just cracked me up <laughs> yeah it makes me think of uh, Dieter on um, Saturday Night Live dancing now we dance <laughs> I don't know why because of the techno music probably so yeah so magnifique floral or floral magnifique <laughs> and so I called the Delaware store it's in the Christiana Mall this is a signature store in Delaware now I've said before in, in videos that the ladies there who do my phone orders are always great and more often than not, it's a woman named Yvonne, and she is in the, um, I just found out, she's in the Vera Bradley Buzz group on, on Facebook, which I'm in. Because uh, I, I, when I got my stuff, she helped me with the order, and when I got my stuff, I was so pleased, I made a post about it in the group in the hopes that she was there. I wanted to thank her. And she did see it, she was in the group, and she did see it, so I was very pleased. So thank you again to Yvonne, and just in general, all the ladies at the, Delaware, the Christiana Mall store are great. And so when I got on the phone with, uh, I got on the phone and said, I don't know, I don't remember who answered the phone. And I said, I want to do a phone order. And she said, I'll go, go get Yvonne. <laughs> so I said, okay. 
I didn't ask for Yvonne, but they, they, they wanted Yvonne to do the phone order. So um, I just said, you know, I want birds. There's birds in this pattern and I want birds if you got birds. And um, so she got me bird here. And there's peacocks in this pattern, front and center. Now I did say in my last video where I showed a tech sleeve in, uh, what was that, Flamingo Garden or something? I don't know what that pattern was that I just showed with the flamingos. Um, you know, on this item, because of the way it's constructed, constructed where this, this flap is one piece of fabric with the back, that piece of fat, it's all one piece of fabric, so it folds over. So this part is right side up, but then if you turn it around, this is upside down. So if there's an obvious direction, um, you know, the back is gonna, you're gonna see it on the back. Um, but I just wanted, I wanted a, I like this item, I've been using this item, it's handy for me in certain situations where I wanna put my iPad in my bag and it takes, is different from the tablet tamer, which I also like, I also like the tablet tamer, but I, it's, I find it handy to have both of them. Um, in certain situations, I, I want one over the other, which I find interesting. Uh, I didn't expect that. Um, <clears throat> so I like that there's both items, so you have that variety. And so I knew I wanted another one of these and it's relatively inexpensive. And so I, you know, I knew there was a chance that if I got a bird here, there might be a bird upside down on the back as well. But what I realized about this pattern is the birds are so freaking far apart, which is always something I bitch and moan about, and it's hard to get them. And so there is no bird really in essence here. There is a little bird off to the side part of the tail there, but I mean, there's no bird, you know, here, so it, it doesn't really matter. So um, technically this would be upside down, I guess. And there, this doesn't, this is lovely, this bigger uh, spray here, like explosion almost of, of flower there. And I do really like that. If you get this well positioned, in, in, like in a center area, odds are you, you might not get a bird. I mean, the way the pattern is, it's, you know, it's a little frustrating, but um, the whole pattern is beautiful and delicate. And I feel like it is very French looking, French, like kind of provincial. I don't know, it's just beautiful. Um, and a little Asian feel to me as well with these branches, the way the branches are done and, and sort of moving through the pattern. They, they lead the eye through the pattern nicely. That's what that the branches tend to be a, a line, like almost like line work. It leads the eye through a composition. So it was very nicely done here. And you've got kind of complementary colors with the, the blue and the um, sort of orangey color in the center of this flower there. Blue and orange are complementary colors. And you may fall opposite each other on the color wheel. As I'm always saying, when you complementary pairs of colors, when used together, tend to enhance each other, make each other seem more vivid. Um, anyway, here's the bird again, close up, peacock. I mean, I, I don't know, is it a peacock to me? It looks like it could be a peacock. I don't know. Someone thinks it's somebody else. Uh, it's something else, you know, a different kind of bird. It's a peacock. <laughs> um, anyway, and the background here, you can see the background. It's not white. It's like a pale gray, or almost like a very, very pale lavender. And it has a white cross-hatching pattern dropping out on it. You can see that there. That sort of reminds me of the background on um, Lavender Meadow. It's a background like that. So just really lovely. And the lining, again, not crazy about the Velcro closure here. Here's the lining. This is not my kind of lining. It's a little traditional for me, but I do think it's pretty. I do like the colors of the flowers in those little leaf shapes. And it's a very pretty background color, almost like a dove gray, or but it's got a lavender cast to it. So very, very pale lavender. So uh, 
very pleased with this. I'm sorry I can't, I am filming with my iPad. So uh, let me just hold my iPad up to it. Yeah, so like my iPad, the long dimension of my iPad comes to like around here. You know, so it, my iPad really swims in this thing. I know it's not the height of it. Yeah, and, and my iPad this way would probably come to about here. So this is very generously sized, like I said in my last video. If you have a tablet that's a little bit bigger, probably would work here. I'm sure the dimensions are on the website, although they are, have been known to be wrong. <laughs> but I can't imagine with something like this they would. I mean, this is easy to measure, right? You would think I can't mess it up. <laughs> anyway, so, I mean, that's really uh, everything else that I, is in my bag is the same um, as the last video. So you can always cut over to that video where I also ramble. <laughs> but I just thought I'd kill a little time here sitting in my car. So um, I hope people found that um, a, a little helpful. And uh, hopefully I'll get motivated soon to do a more comprehensive video with um, the other things that I got in that pattern. And also I have a huge, not huge, but I have a, a tote bag full of like recent little acquisitions that is sort of accumulating that I thought I would you know just pull out one at a time from the bag and just kind of show but it's all very all very random stuff some of it new some of it sort of older stuff that was on sale so um, hopefully I'll get to that and, and, and uh, any requests I can remember you know I mentioned I threw out my list and I haven't been able to find it but I want to do the color theory one and um, uh, I'll start a new list for people if they have requests. I'll start a new list and maybe I'll try to show in a video to show the hydrangea pink again. Maybe if I get upstairs to my room, the light will be a little bit more accurate for that color and then I can show it with lavender sky side to side. I'll try to remember to take a picture of that and post it. I think that was in the Vera Bradley Friends group where someone asked me about that comp comparison and I'm sorry. I don't know if she watches the videos, but I'm sorry. I, it's been hard to get to that. Just it's, I have to dig out that tote from my storage in my room, and it's not so easy right now because of my pulled rib uh. muscles. <laughs> yeah, I'm such a mess. Um, anyway, getting all in for sissies, to quote uh. Betty Davis. Anyway, um, I hope people found that enjoyable a little bit, a little distraction, and hopefully see you uh, next time on Rear Bradley Bag of the Day.